Day 10 of Vlogmas. I don't know why I have to start every episode with this, but boy, are we shiny today. So it is 11.15, a little bit of a late start today. Um, it's Tuesday, so that means we have knit group tonight. So we are going to do some administrative work things. We have to photograph a new colorway we dyed yesterday. Um, I want to start getting all the newsletters for the rest of the year set because we have some big stuff happening in 2020 and I cannot wait. By this face, you should guess that it has to do with a little old book series. I can't. So, yeah, um, base, yeah, it's just gonna be a lot of computer work today. It's another gross rainy day. I think we're supposed to get snow tomorrow. I'm not sure. It's like 60 degrees out today, so probably I'll be getting a blizzard because that's how Connecticut works. It's 60, and then it's four feet of snow, and then it's 70. This is why we're getting married in March. So it'll have snow, but it might be 70 degrees outside, so we could go outside and not freeze to death. Um, yeah, that's the plan. We just updated our planner for the next three months. <laughs> We're updating our to-do list for what we have to do for the rest of 2019. And yeah. Yep. I did not do a sign off yesterday. Jake and I did some more wedding planning stuff and then I promptly fell asleep on the couch. So that was not very exciting for anybody to see on Vlogmas. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make some lunch because I'm starving. And I had to go grocery shopping because now we officially have like four carrots and two slices of pizza in the fridge and at least 45 different kinds of pickles. Well, good morning, bud. Good morning. So yep, that's our game plan for the day. It's probably gonna be a pretty short vlogmas because there's not a lot happening. Yep, all right. I'm gonna get more coffee because Need it. Also, I'm wearing, because it's like super slummy day, uh, my kitten Christmas sweater that my mom made me. She used to make these in the early to mid 90s for us. And in college, I found her Halloween one that still fit me. Mine was from when I was like four. So she made me a Christmas one with, come on, the puff paint. Why did that ever go out of style? So we are super slumming it today. All black. We even got like black knit socks on. I'm not gonna show you because we're covered in dog hair. So yeah, let's do some work stuff. What do you have to say, bud? What's on your vlog miss today? Yeah. And then? And then? Yeah. Uh-huh. Did you sleep okay? Do you just want to go back to bed? Is it a cuddle day? We gotta take pictures of the yarn. Unimpressed.
Man, it looks like nighttime. All right, it is now two o'clock. We have photographed the yarn, edited the photos, scheduled all of our Instagram posts, set up the shop update for Friday, set up our newsletter for Thursday, started setting up the advent of Woolen Minis newsletter for next week, put all of the shows in for 2020 onto the website. What else have we done? So many things. So many things. So that is so much computer work, all set, ready to go. And yeah, I have to go to New Haven to go pick up some yarn for one of the ties. So I think I'm gonna go do that now. That way I don't get stuck in New Haven during rush hour. I should probably go grocery shopping. I really just wanna take a nap. So I think we are going to go to New Haven, maybe put some different clothes on so we don't look like a angry mom from the mid 90s. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was a lot of, I've never felt more prepared. We now have all of, almost all of 2020 booked, like, and ready to go. So I have scheduled out. I'm waiting to hear on one show for 2020. And then I think I'm like done. Like I'm booked. I'm, I'm done. The first three months are insane. Absolutely insane. Nobody let me do anything else. We have scheduled out the release of an advent of Woolen Minis. We are releasing all 25 colors. Pre-orders on certain bases only throughout the year. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to regret that <laughs> immediately because then I'm just only going to dye Sarah J Moss colors, but that's fine. Oh, I would be so excited to do that. So that schedule is done. And I think the rest of the work I think I'm I think I'm done working for the day. I mean that was a lot. It was it was a brutal morning. Alright, so I'm going to go change and let's go to New Haven. Alright, before I forget and we lose the light, this is what I got at Affordable Fabrics. I'm so excited. So we have floral on black knits. I'm going to make a dress and a pencil skirt out of this, or maybe no, I'm gonna make a dress out of this. I haven't decided. I need to go through all of, sorry, I'm getting Instagram messages. Um, my knit dress patterns. I kind of want a Betty dress. It's not a knit fabric pattern, but that's a style I want out of this. And then I got floral on black velvet stretch. Oops, goodbye. Because no shame. I think I'm going to do, I'm definitely gonna do a pencil skirt. I think I wanna do an Agnes top or a dress. Maybe a wrap dress. That would be beautiful. So obviously pencil skirts all day, every day. And then I got two, I got three yards of each of these. So I should have enough to do a dress and a skirt. I got two yards of this stretch crushed velvet and I'm going to either do a bodysuit or an Agnes top with the puff sleeves because I have no shame and I don't care. And probably a pencil skirt because I get, oh no, maybe a circle skirt. Oh, that would be super cute. I definitely need to make separates of these so then I can wear something with my floral on black. Can I wear floral on black and floral on black? Don't mind if I do. And I think we are changing gears. We are going to have green velvet tablecloth for the wedding, for the dessert table. I think we're going to change it to black and then do an accent of a dark forest green because you cannot be $2.99 a yard for a tablecloth when tablecloths for tables are like $45 for weddings because weddings. Then we got eight yards of this dog hair covered. I don't even, it's super thick. It's definitely not a hundred percent. It might be like a wool blend, but it's a super dark brown. It's darker in real life. Um, blend of something for our night's watch cloaks or the wedding. Um, I was hoping for black. They did not have black, but if we do the plan. The original plan was to get tanuki fur for the cloaks because that's what they actually used in the later seasons of Game of Thrones. This is post Ikea rugs. We might do the Ikea rug thing. Uh, we There's a fur guy that we go to for everything. We don't have like furs. I have like one fake tail for, that I bought like my first Renaissance there. Um, we were in that shop and talking to that fur guy 
and he told us that they used tanuki fur for Jon Snow's cloak which he thought was hilarious because it's supposed to be like a northern Scotland like dark and damp and cold climate but tanuki is a fox in Japan which is from warmer climates so we're probably gonna do like a dark brown um faux fur mantles and then get the leather straps that way like they still look like the cloaks that they used in the show so i have eight yards of that brown fabric to make sure we have enough for length for jake um i'm guesstimating about three yards per person they're not going to be super full cloaks they can't be too heavy otherwise it's going to be such a pain in the butt to get them to stay on our shoulders properly but jake is 6'4 so i just want to make sure his is going to be long enough so yep, that was my affordable fabrics haul. We're gonna go back and get more of that black crushed velvet since they had a huge bolt of it, but I know their velvets go really fast. And again, you cannot be $2.99 a yard for a tablecloth. And then I'll have like five yards of black velvet to turn into a gown of some sort. And I can't wait. That was the fastest and most successful yarn store trip of my life in which I didn't think I had any coins and then I remembered you can use credit cards on your um, parking meter. So I awkwardly sat in my car waiting for the meter guy to walk by for like 10 minutes for nothing. So we are now and we're gonna go to Trader Joe's and go grocery shopping. Yeah, we have a gift card to a supermarket in New Haven but we got it at Trivia, so I feel like I should use that next time we hang out with our Trivia group. Okay, to New Haven. It smells like crepes, and I really want to eat some. By to New Haven, I mean to Trader Joe's. All right, two days is done. We did not spend as much as we thought, but they were out of all the advent calendars, so that was a huge plus. We're on the street is by word on the street, I mean from their own podcast, they have a dog admin calendar, a cat admin calendar, and word on the street is they have a skincare admin calendar. I did not see any of them. That's fine. But I did get groceries. I found this blog called Three Trader Joe's Ingredient Recipes. So that's basically how I buy all my groceries now. It's three ingredients. It feeds usually two people for a couple days. So if it's just me, I have like three days worth of food. It's great. So we're gonna go to Stop and Shop now to get uh, canned goods and pasta because they're cheaper there and it's on the way home. And also scheduling meetings in my car with my planner. Cause business, right? Right? We have finished grocery shopping. I have kept, I think I'm under budget. Might be like a dollar over budget, which is good. Uh, mostly because I was super cheeky and bought um, Trader Joe's with sale winter drink and a salted mama caramel coffee creamer. I haven't been using coffee creamer because I usually make my own. It's just not as sweet, but they had the winter flavors out and they were just too good not to miss. So I'm gonna go home, unpack this, make a quick dinner, lunch, and then get ready for my group. I'm starving. I think all I've had today is pizza. Or super chatty. So we are almost done with dinner. Our three ingredient meal today is Italian sausage, Italian chicken sausage with uh, some sort of cheese inside of it. Um, and then sweet potato gnocchi and pesto. So you roast the gnocchi and sausage together and then toss it with the pesto. Done! Easy! And we also have a bunch of leftover veggies. I got some red peppers and we're just doing a roasted veggie tomato sauce. 
And that one I also found on Pinterest. So you just roast a bunch of veggies and then cook them in chicken broth and then blend them together. Tastes like tomato sauce, but you've got like 30,000 veggies in there.